Good day. This is Analog Soul, and this is my very first Red Wing video. Uh, what I'm gonna do is to, uh, I plan to moisturize the leather. This is a Red Wing 875, and this has been with me for a long time. This from the early 2006 when I purchased this and this has been through a lot this this has been through winter summers and a lot of motorcycle rides well I have plenty of other boots but this one is definitely my favorite if you can see that the sole has been replaced by a local cobbler and uh, I kind of like the patina of it but right now the leather is so dry I like the look of a dried leather but it will destroy the boot and I love it so much so I'm choosing between the all leather conditioner or the mink oil I think I'm gonna go with the mink oil because I think this is uh, a more potent moisturizer what people usually do is they use a brush to moisturize the leather but I like using my fingers to moisturize it so so I'll just do this for a while and hopefully the leather is gonna brighten up a little bit it will definitely darken the leather but it will save it from a uh, definite destruction anyway I love this and uh, I'm gonna be putting lots of it just the right amount I know most of you use the uh, all natural leather conditioner but for this case I'm going for the mink oil. See the difference? This is one thirsty pair of red wings. I have a, another pair in the same condition and the leather was also dry. It's an 8131 it's so old it's something like from the mid not mid early 2000 something like 2002 so now there you go this is one side and you can see the difference now if I move this from here so originally it was like this and now with the mink oil it's uh, getting darker it's gonna get darker but give it a few days it will lighten up well this a pair of red wing that I uh, <laughs> I use for motorcycle riding and it's also dry but this one believe it or not was moisturized a few days ago I moisturize it with mink oil so it needs more but let's go back to the 875 So this one is almost done. I'm just gonna do the tongue. Yeah, if you use a brush, most of the product will go to the brush. But if you use your fingers, it's gonna be easier and uh, I think it's way better. Because you can feel the creases of the leather. So you know which hard is a bit coarse or hard. 
so we can apply more. Alright, so let's see. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how it would look like minutes after applying the mink oil. And this is the previous look without the application of the moisturizer. So there's a total difference of the two. You can see it. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll be updating you in a while. Alright, I'm back. The leather is now moisturized. I did the left side. I mean the left the left pair of the shoe. And it's now darker as you can see. This will make the leather more supple. And as you can see it's not as thirsty as before. Just to show you how it looks like before, so you can see the comparison. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, YouTube, thank you for watching. My very first video, and I'll be adding more in this channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe to Analog Soul Man. Thank you. Alrighty, now we're gonna do the other one. I love this pair. This is one of my very first pair of red wing boots. And there was a time when people here in the Philippines never really cared much about these uh, red wings, but sometime in 2013, then onwards to 14, 15, 16, up to now 2020, uh, people have noticed the value they've noticed how nice the leather is and uh, it had the cult following here in here in the Philippines especially in Manila shout out to the baggy boys and especially the baggy girls who've been sending us red wings uh, to James and Melay Gumpik thank you so don't forget to visit their facebook page the name is sikix and you're gonna see a lot of shoes from their site from brand new ones up to used pairs another guy to check out is uh, Willis Leather the guy is based in Taguig in BGC and he carries uh, Filson stuff from the US. He is also into resoling. And I have one pair that is lined up to be resold. And I'm just waiting for the quarantine to end. And uh, the one. The one soul I like is the Ripple Soul. And I'm going to put that on, on an 875. I want to say also hi to Gabby Bio, who is New York based. He's been sending us Filipinos all their brand new stuff from the US. So the purveyors of Red Wings. Mr. Gabby Bio, James Melay Gumpik, who else? Willie Sleather, and uh, the 
the couple from Marikina Bicicleta, Lee and uh, Rhea. So if you're into Red Wings, those are the people to look forward to. Alright, this boot is almost done. I love it. But I kind of miss the, the patina I had before. But give it a few days, it will be back. Though not though it's gonna be a bit darker but moisturizing the boots will give it a, a longer life in more years for me to use it in the coming days I'll be showcasing some of my other boots I have the hundred years an 100 year anniversary boot and also the the dog stamp yeah there you go fully moisturized and shout out to my local cobbler that's a <laughs> 1000 peso riso as they call it banqueta riso but I love it thank you